Hey trappers, it's been a heck of a day. Uh, midday, around 11.30, battery in the buggy died. I pulled up a set, had a beaver, went to turn it back on, nothing. I was about two miles in, long walk out, went, got another battery, got back. We looked up the wrong part number, it was the wrong battery. Drove another hour and a half round trip back, got another battery, carried it all the way back in, was the right battery. So it's getting late. Caught a beaver, a couple coons, otter, one otter. Um, anyway, I'm here at that uh, set last night where we caught the last set of the night, which again is the last set of the night, where we caught the gray fox. And I hope he comes through because it's getting pretty dark. But right there, we got a big bobcat for Mississippi. He was in that set that had the gray fox yesterday, the, what I was called the rabbit hole set. Big old boy. We'll take him. Anyway, we'll get him taken care of and uh, head back to the house and do it all again tomorrow. Hey, trappers. Um, rough day today. Uh, rained, I don't know what it rained, an inch and a half or better. Everything was flooded today. I wasn't able to get to many of the sets. Um, only ended up catching two coon and uh, this beaver. I uh, did not take anything with me to film it at the set, but when I was pulling her out of the set and carrying her up the bank, I knew she was a pretty good sized beaver. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put her on the scales right now and uh, see what she is. I'm gonna turn it on here. Yeah, it zeroed out. Stay right. Ooh. Hit my hook. And sixty uh, around sixty four pounds. A little less for being damp. Solid sixty three pounder. Tails touching the ground too, so uh, I'll set a little bit so Definitely a solid 63 pound girl. So anyway, I'll get her skint and we'll uh, get back at it again tomorrow. I think our third stop here on the main we're trapping. This location you might remember, uh, you'll see in I think the first video, a 220 up there, dry land, had a 220 here, and it's where we caught one of the beavers, not the black one, but had that decently large brown beaver. I'm here today and it looks like I am seeing an otter's foot down here. We'll go down there and see what we got. Definitely an otter. Nice head catch. Stay up. Another dog otter. So far, I have caught nothing but dog otters. I've yet to catch a female otter, but yeah, definitely dog. Not a real huge one, but a good sized one. Off over there, so here to deal with. Maybe get him out of here. All right, so yeah, he's a pretty good size otter. We'll definitely take him. Go back through the hole. Again, there's the setup. My number nine wire. Keep it from spinning. Real simple set. Again, I don't want to do that. And that is all there is to it. Now, I normally like all my wires on top. Of course, with stabilizers, the one exception, you can't do it. They have to be on, I said, on the bottom. The stabilizers, they have to be on the top. The way they work, but it is what it is. 
what it is. Just put a little camouflage in there. And that's it. Should have another one, hopefully in the next day or two. Maybe. Uh, we're at one of the bridge crossovers going to Duck Lake up here. Just a standard tune path coming down through. Uh, reason I put cups on if you don't know and of course it rained all day yesterday yesterday evening back up day before yesterday and uh, that night everything was wet so I put these on there just to keep the bait I again I used the malicious DP coon bait it will take a little water but it won't take a lot of water so uh, I just put it in there to you know, see them coming out there but to keep the bait fresh Keep it from getting waterlogged. Then bottom of the tune, of course, actually is a little bit more of a tractor. They see the white cup out here. Not used to seeing it. Throw it over there because it's going to rain again in two days. But uh, I don't take them all off as I go by. There's no need. The tune will go ahead and work them. I mean, they dig in the lids on trash cans. I'm going to take that little cup off. If you do use that, uh, do get the paper cups that are wire coated. Don't get the plastic ones. You know, they don't deteriorate for a million years. But these are just a wax paper. Uh, a year from now, they're, they're gone. They deteriorate. They're also good if you have mice issues. If you have mice getting your bait out, put one of them on top. It really retards them from getting in there. Over several days, it will chew through the paper. But if you got a scent that's been there for three, four, or five days and not caught a coon, you probably need to move it anyway. Now, on up here, you'll see the second one up. It did connect, but it wasn't with a coon. It was with a possum. No grinner. Get him out of there. Remake it. You're messed up. A malicious down in there. I usually have my can, I do have it, I just have to rebuild it. I refill it and get a new thing of official. Alright. That's it. We'll get on down the road. Alright, one of our little uh, fine things we gotta put up with in the Pacific. There's a lot of trash. Big trash, little trash, all kinds of trash. This is one of the bridges we got across on the place. So, somebody's uh, old, old refrigerator probably where he weighs a ton. Try to get this out of here. But we're safe to grab it. Here we got a small duck lake. Here it's got the outflow, little creek ditch going to it. This was totally underwater yesterday. I mean, I couldn't even get back on this side of the highway. I mean, when this floods, it's it's under. I'm talking feet. Anyway, it goes down pretty quick. Um, I had a channel set in here. Uh, been there three, four days. Check days. Set it four or five days ago. Haven't had nothing, but today. Oh, we got a bad old baby. The set was actually down where I'm sticking. Standing up, of course, right down there. But uh, I wired it off this tree and they always roll. Roll right up on there. And they did roll, she did, he rolled right up on me. These are the hardest ones to set when it hid. Oh, Get it, big old 
male beaver. We'll definitely take him. Throw him up here somewhere. I have found that money. Again, this is one of them I had to bend the uh, bottom, I don't know, support to make it fit so the dog can be on the bottom. Make sure there's no debris there. You see, here's one of the old guides, some of the other guides. Make sure the safeties are off. Is that guy right there? There we go. Should catch the next one coming down. Put that over there just for the heck of it. All right, trappers. You don't see me break out the sutters very often. There's sometimes that I do. And that is when I get a very mad snapping turtle. He's not a happy feller. So, in lieu of getting my hands around him, we're going to use the setters. And he's a stinky little feller, like most of them are. Even with that, he's still trying to get me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be nice to him. I'm getting him out of this predicament that he got himself into. There we go, buddy. You stay there, good boy. Thank you, Charlie. There he is. If anybody wants to know for sure, you'll probably take off around in here in a minute. He is good and alive. All right, trappers. Uh, another spot. Got this here. Well, I call it a river. Big, big trick. Coming through here, of course, it's swollen now with rain down. Duck Lake over here. Uh, these are one of the crossings I've been trapping pretty much since I've been coming here for 16 years. Um, got a 330 underneath uh, that brush right there, brush blocked. And then I'm going to the path right down in the creek. Got another 330 and we have an otter. Two things strange about this otter. One, he's still alive in a 330. Uh, two, even what I can see of him, I caught one two days ago that were like coal black. Down here, you catch a lot of pale otters. Back in the day when NAFTA was going good and the otter market was very, very strong, two of my otters down here topped the market at $272 a piece. That year, I averaged about, a, I think, $125, $130 average. Now, let me bring that up because they were all what they called pale and super pale. Didn't get any of these dark colored otters. Uh, this year is actually the first two years that I've caught these really, really cold, black looking otters. Pretty cool. Also here, we've got a DP on each side. And we got a bonus coon and a DP with a little malicious so we'll get all these taken care of and uh, we'll get on down the road all right Trevor we are literally just on the same duck lake we just caught that black otter and that coon just right around the corner on the other side now, again this is all underwater yesterday I've been standing in water yesterday now, we had a 
Not another otter. He's seen better days, but uh, he was uh, being washed around quite a little bit. Uh, another dog. I didn't look at the other one. But uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be a, that's a three otter day right now, plus that beaver. So got a couple more sets. We'll see what else we got. All right, trappers. Uh, this is the, I guess, the cleanup video for today. Um, we got three possums and two or three coons. I know two, I'm thinking three. She keeps the numbers, she's in the house, but something like that. Um, and then we got the three otter and the beaver for today. This is that otter I was talking about darker. You can kind of see how uh, a little lighter chinned, if you will. The normal beavers are, well, excuse me, otter are, and that one's light colored all the way down. But yeah, this is a pretty dark fella. And the one I got the other night was fell, I didn't, or dark. I didn't uh, get to uh, put him on video, but uh, and then the one beaver that we had, we filmed. This is the beaver from uh, yesterday, the 64 pounder, and it's a dark beaver. This is another black beaver. It don't look like it's gonna have the real nice hair on it, but it's about dry. Anyway, we'll uh, get these taken care of and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. We're gonna get All right, trappers, uh, we're up here, uh, kind of a little more hillier corner of the property. If she'll uh, pan around, we got a trail going down there, the trail we just came out on, and the trail we're getting ready to go down. Kind of a little heavier timber in this area, a lot of hills. Oh, it's a small portion of the place. I mean, maybe a couple hundred acres. But uh, it's nice traveling when it's flooded. Only thing is, from the other side, I can't get to here. Anyway, I put a uh, standard dirt hole here. Uh, you know, target, of course, was coyote. Standard dirt hole. Got a scent post over there. Uh, coon dug me out uh, yesterday. Been after the rain. Right before. But anyway, rolled up here today and we got us a gray fox. Kind of a chilling little fella. This is just literally around the corner from where we just caught the gray fox. Um, this was a cat set, same pretty much heavy hilly timber going out here into this flat. Um, this set was a little bit of an oddity. I use it when I've got nice flat open uh, hard packed ground. It, you know, doesn't work good in timber or out in the field or anything. I want my foot. Um, but anyway, what it was, as you see, it was a number three. Definitely for bobcats is what it was. It was supposed to be coon. I literally have a coon set 50 yards around the corner. But what it was is I take a bobcat paw. This is one paws I uh, cut off the bobcat the other day and uh, bury it where it's just about that much of his toe sticking out. And uh, believe it or not, it uh, works very good on bobcats and apparently coons too. I just did it the day before yesterday. Yesterday didn't have anything. Uh, today, uh, of course, we got the coon. I'll get him taken care of. I'll get the set remade. All right. The boss told me I have to uh, make the set as she's filming, not after. So I guess that's what we're doing. Anyway. Get it all good and packed in there good. Now, normally in bobcat sets, you know I don't worry, worry about this too much, especially on the bucket ones. But, uh... This it actually can and has taken coyotes. So I do want to kind of spruce it up a little bit more than I normally would. With the mud and the coon, I think I have a hard time bringing up enough dirt. There's the old cat paw right there. Thought the coon had ate it. Oh. Do, do, do. And 
I always kind of know where your pan is. Pack that in there good. one has to have for this set kind of a little more open type pattern the camouflage never hurts I'm gonna put a little right there as a guide for the old Cayute I don't want too much on top of my pan now I'll take my dagger try to on this hard ground a nice little slot put my pad in there acting man good now, I do want it open I don't want to close him in and literally that's it I'll uh, try to find a couple little small Stepping guides, nothing much. Just, you know, I don't want the cat trying to work it from the backside or anything, which they won't. They're going to be up here on the flat. What you're going to see, he's going to zoom over, see that, sniff it. But when he's either coming to, in from this way to sniff it, he's going to step there, bend down and sniff. Or if he's coming this way, he'll probably step here, sniff, step here, and go on. And that's what we're after. We'll uh, see if it works. All right, another nice rain yesterday. Everything's flooded. That water's not supposed to be in them field over there. Anyway, I've had uh, three coyotes that's along this lane, kind of back in this timber. Goes out here, cross road into some other timber. There's actually a blacktop road right down through there. Anyway, yep. After five, six days, whatever it's been, Three rainstorms, a couple remakes, fresh down the dirt, all that good work. Yup, caught a pin. All right, trappers, we're here at this location that we uh, caught that, I think it was the first beaver in a 220. Uh, that kind of familiarize you right quick with it. Nice sunny day today, it's supposed to be like 65 rains for a couple days and gets nice for a few days anyway that 220 there that's just now coming out of the water held a beaver all oh, first couple days goes on to that slough back there then it goes on to the, the big ditch you know, up here I had a or have a 220 Picked up coon, possum, whatnot. And today, up in here, what do we have? Looks like a pretty nice otter. We'll uh, get him taken care of and move on down the line, but seems to be a lot of otters this year. Good thing. 